So in January 2023, after waking up at one of the worst hangovers I've ever had, which no lie took me a whole week to recover from, I was vomiting, I was sweating, I was shivering, I couldn't eat, I had so much anxiety, I was sick to my stomach, I had the worst headache, I was in a hole. It was after that I looked myself in the mirror and I said, something has to change. So I set myself a challenge to quit drinking for 365 days, a whole year, and here I am a year later, haven't done exactly that and when I say it is one of the best things I have ever done I don't say that lightly I have kind of shied away from talking about this throughout the year solely because I'm not coming from a place of struggling with addiction or I didn't have an alcohol problem I wasn't drinking that much but I decided that this was an important video to make because I feel like a lot of people are or find themselves in a similar situation to the one I was in. So a bit of backstory was I started drinking about 16, but not much, just like anyone, you know, it was when I started going to parties, I'd have a couple drinks and I'd be flying, you know, cause it goes to your head when you've never drank before. Um, but it was when I turned 17, I'd say I started drinking a bit more. I went through a really bad breakup, my first ever breakup, my first ever heartbreak. And I found myself going out drinking a lot more. Um, I'd find myself drinking before the party with my friend, we'd be drinking vodka. So we'd be basically drunk before we'd even get there, you know? So I'd say like 17, 18, I had a couple of very bad binge drinking years. You know, I live in Ireland, so binge drinking is a huge culture here, just like it is, I know, in a lot of countries, but we have a a real problem with it you know everyone around me was binge drinking so that's what I was doing so I'd say they were the years that I drank the most but then as I got a bit older 19 20 21 22 whatever you know I wasn't drinking that often but when I was drinking my habits from my teenage years had stayed with me and I would binge drink just like everyone around me still was doing you know when I was in the pub Everyone was drinking drink after drink after drink and it was basically like how much can you possibly drink in the night? So I was in this place where even though I wasn't going out much, when I was going out I was drinking a lot, I was staying out very late and I was finding myself with these awful hangovers because even though some people say that you know their hangovers have gotten worse as they've gotten older, I personally have struggled with hangovers, suffered with hangovers since the day I started drinking. I have never not been so sick for days after drinking. The anxiety, the physical symptoms, it was so bad. Even though now I have so many fond memories and so many positive memories of drinking with loved ones, you know, and really good nights. But what goes hand in hand with that as well is that there were also a lot of bad nights where there were arguments or, you know, I did things I regretted or I said things I regretted or even worse, you wake up and you're like, what did I say? I don't really remember, you know, could I have said something? So that's the place where I was at. I had realized that I had given my control to a substance. And I no longer wanted that to be the case. So that's why I decided to put a bit of distance between me and alcohol for a year, because I feel like when you put distance between you and anything in life, whether it's a person or something, it really helps you gain clarity, perspective, see things in a different light. You know, it's very hard to figure things out if you're in it you know if you're in the alcohol how can you figure it out so how did I do it now of course there is no one size fits all and we're all coming from a different place with alcohol you know we all have a different relationship with alcohol but I would say if you are wanting to give it up for a period of time or give it up for good the most important thing is to find your why this is what helped me stay off it for the year was to keep focusing on what my why was for me it was because I knew the way I was drinking wasn't improving my life and it wasn't any addition to my life whatsoever. I was really tired of giving my power and my control over to another substance where there and then I could act out of character, you know, I'd act in ways that I'd never act sober and I didn't want to live that way anymore. You know, I also wanted to get healthier and to stop covering up my problems with alcohol because even though I didn't drink often, what I did notice was that when I would drink, I'd notice things come to the surface that weren't coming to the surface prior. And that was clearly because it was, you know, obviously alcohol heightens all emotions, good and bad, but there were things within me that I wasn't dealing with and were coming out, you know, after I'd had a number of drinks. So being able to take a step back and deal with them things sober was another huge why of mine to figure out what was going on. So I have some pros and cons of what I learned throughout the year of not drinking. So my first pro, of course, would be no more hangovers. I cannot tell you how badly I suffered 
tired with hangovers anything else aside this was a good enough reason for me to stop drinking because I was genuinely losing weeks of my year from them four or five times drinking in the year and I don't say that lightly because even though after the week I wouldn't feel physically sick I would still mentally be riddled with anxiety and fear and I just wouldn't feel myself whatsoever not only that but it would totally throw me off track with my sleep schedule and my diet because when I was hungover I'd be sleeping most of the day and I'd be eating or only wanting to eat absolute crap and then it was this constant cycle all year even though it was only just say four or five times that's still like every you know three months so every number of months I was trying to come out of this cycle and then I drink again and then I'd be back in it and I'd try to come out of it and then I'd be back in it you know so even though it wasn't an addiction it was still having really negative impacts on my life you know when I was drinking. Our second pro is of course healthier mind and body I'm sure it's no surprise to say that i feel much healthier within myself you know alcohol is a poison we are poisoning our bodies we all know that we feel like absolute crap after drinking it you know I was losing so much time as I explained when I was drinking I was in this vicious cycle whereas since quitting it and cutting it out of my life altogether I have been able to take care of my body and mind much more consistently and consistency is the key to anything in life you know we need to keep at it I feel clearer mentally and I no longer regularly experience anxiety and fear that's being caused solely from a substance you know I feel like I spend more time now taking care of my body and mind which is where I would like to thank Fabletics for sponsoring today's video Fabletics is my all-time favorite activewear brand so they have been a huge part in my journey in the last year I have some very exciting news so the last couple of months they had actually gotten rid of the Annie two trousers for 24 pounds offer but they're after bringing it back um I don't know how long they're going to have it here for but it is back for the month of January so you can get any two trousers on site for £24 the quality of Fabletics being able to get a pair of trousers for £12 is the most insane value of anything I have ever come across in my life because they are worth 50 quid you know so it's just such a good bargain and they also have up to 80% off everything else on site to kickstart the new year so if you're looking to get back into your fitness journey or you just want to update your wardrobe a little bit I would definitely take advantage of these offers I will have a link down in my description box if you want to go and check them out but oh the bits this month this bright blue tracksuit is so stunning so striking it's my new favorite two-piece I actually have a little trip coming up and it is the perfect airport attire in my opinion this is also a joint first for me with the tracksuit so we have the Oasis Twist sports bra which as you guys know is my all-time favorite it comes in so many colors look what it does for the girls like it just gives you a natural boob job I will never get over it and then we have the Oasis high-waisted leggings as well which just fits so so well if you like something Thing kind of more defining I would definitely go with the Oasis collection and they have the collection in so many colors as well we have this cozy fleece hoodie I'm currently wearing which is so stunning paired with the Taho teddy jacket in this gorgeous light brown shade they have these Taho teddy jackets in a bunch of colors I have three of them and I wear them weekly they are my go-to coat they go with everything they go with activewear but you can also dress them with a pair of jeans or a little skirt and a jumper they're so versatile then we also have the defined power hold leggings in black along with the no bounce high impact sports bra so if you are a bigger chested girl these sports bras are going to be your best friend because they are high impact whereas obviously my favorite kind of sports bras would be the lower impact ones because I'm a smaller chested girl you know I don't need that support but they have such a variety of low medium and high impact whatever kind of support you need for your girls they've got you but yes any two trousers for 24 pounds and up to 80 percent of absolutely everything i will leave a link down below but thank you so much fab life our third pro is less insecurities and problems and this is a big one i used to think that alcohol enabled me to let go of my insecurities and inhibitions and be more outgoing because i'm more naturally introverted 
But since giving it up, I realized it did the complete opposite. In the last year, I've had so much more time to work on my confidence and deal with my problems without burying my head in a bottle of vodka or a bottle of wine, you know? And even though it wasn't happening often, I didn't realize that it was bringing up a lot of feelings that I was suppressing within me. So in the last year, I've been able to bring up a lot of stuff that I didn't realize I was pushing down beneath the surface. It was only after the last year and sitting down and really thinking thinking about it that I realized that I haven't had any regrets in the last year and it made me realize that a lot of my regrets in my life did come after nights out and even though there were many a really good night there was also many a regretful night you know or many a thing done that I felt was embarrassing or a thing said that I wish I didn't say or just telling people too much you know that filter because when you drink, your filter's totally gone. It's just like word vomit. For so long, I was convinced that it was making me more fun and outgoing and extroverted, but it was just making me loud and annoying, just like everyone else when they're drunk. I'm not being funny. I've never seen a good drunk. Everyone is loud and annoying when they are drunk. It's just what happens. Our filter goes, our inhibitions are gone, and it's not who you are you know and I think being able to take that step back in the last year I have grown into myself so much and I actually feel like I've become a bit more outgoing naturally you know what I mean and from finding myself in social situations and not drinking helped me grow so much in myself as a person within my own confidence and it's really sad that it took giving up drink to realize this because I never thought that drinking was heightening my insecurities and giving me more problems. I knew it was giving me problems, but not as many as it actually was. So instead of hiding my insecurities with a drink, it helped me overcome them. And instead of drowning my sorrows, it helped me face my sorrows and deal with them head on. Our next pro is healthier relationships. You know, since giving it up, it has definitely had a positive impact on my relationships. I grew up and I saw, you know, alcohol abuse within my family. I also saw firsthand how detrimental alcohol can be on relationships. Throughout my life, a lot of arguments arose when alcohol was involved not just me drinking but also them drinking you know whereas obviously now I remember everything I say and do I haven't done anything I regret in the last year of course there's been fewer arguments not only that but a lot of my close ones didn't really drink that much in the last year like for example our Christmas we had a completely sober Christmas and I want to say it was probably the nicest Christmas that we have had in ever <laughs> like that I can remember and most other Christmases you know you'd have a few drinks and it would be a great day but there's always a point then of the night where you just stay up too late or you drink too much and then one person says something and that's it you know it really only takes one person to say one thing and you know it can just cause so many issues within relationships our next pro is more time you know as i was saying i was losing weeks of the year after drinking and i don't say that lightly you know i feel like now i have so much more time to pursue my hobbies and my interests and the things i enjoy and the things i like to do i've also had the most introspection and growth in the last year i want to say that i have ever had and I don't think that would have been possible if I was still drinking because the drink would have been suppressing certain things that I wouldn't have been able to deal and face head on. Now we're going to move into our cons. So our first con is difficulty socializing. As I said I'm naturally more introverted. I am an introvert true and true. I've always been that way you know so drinking was always something that kind of took the edge off a little bit helped me loosen up and I felt made me more outgoing and fun but whoa, it just wasn't the case. There is an adjustment period with this of course you know but I feel like what helped me the most was distancing myself from that lifestyle. I stopped partying, I stopped going to pubs, I stopped you know going out with people when they were drinking and I just started spending time with my loved ones and my friends and my family in other ways you know. We were going for walks, we were going for dinner, having a coffee, you know going go-karting just 
doing different activities so replacing what we used to do with something else and we had so much fun like oh my god I had so much fun throughout the year when I was hanging out with my loved ones and we were doing other things that didn't involve drinking it's just a matter of switching things up and swapping one activity for another activity our second con is missing out you know there were times where I felt like I was missing out and you know because I have so many fond positive memories of drinking with my friends with my loved ones like really good times like some best memories you know but you know I started feeling like maybe my friends wouldn't want to hang out with me anymore because I wasn't going to be fun to be around because we weren't doing the things that we used to do like just say my bestest friend I've had since I was a teenager we always drank together we started drinking together you know it was something that we always did um but then I realized how much fun we had doing other activities how understanding she was how supportive she was and that is the definition of a good friend you know people who actually love you and want the best for you are gonna support you and be there for you you know and they're still gonna want to hang out with you because they love you they love you for who you are sober you you're not drunk or drinking all the time you know it's just something you guys do together so yeah once I realized that that wasn't the case you know I didn't feel like I had FOMO anymore but it's definitely something that would flutter in and out from time to time you know our next con is pressure from others now this didn't happen at the beginning but I feel like a number of months in you know I was in a couple of situations where people were having a drink and people were like why like just have one you know but why what's the problem like you you weren't an alcoholic you know you weren't doing this you weren't doing that just have one you know a lot of pressure um and you really have to stand your ground like you know even my friend you know her be like oh but can we not just have a couple drinks jesse you know months after i'd given up and i was like i can't i'm giving it up you know i, I want to do this you know i'm really sticking to it so it wasn't even pressure from like strangers or acquaintances it was very much pressure from the closest people to me you know so you really have to stand your ground and keep your foot down and explain to them and help them understand why you know but yeah, pressure can definitely be a con because of course drinking is so normalized. I, it's fucking crazy when you think about it. Like there is no other drug that would ever be as normalized as alcohol is. Like it's literal poison. And we're all just like, oh yeah, she was off her face at the weekend. He was out of his mind. He had his head down the toilet, ha ha ha. Like it's all like hee hee ha ha. And it's like, what are we doing to ourselves? Like this isn't normal, you know? But yeah, it's mad how it's weirder when you're not drinking versus when you are. That's crazy when you actually really think about what we're doing, that we're drinking poison and you're the weird one to not do it. But of course now I do feel like a lot more people are going sober, are stopping drinking. It's more normalized I feel like than it ever has been. Would you believe they are my only cons? Like them three cons are it. So as you can see, the pros are way outweighing the cons. From sharing this, I really hope I can inspire any of you guys who find yourselves in a similar experience to me to question it and ask yourself, what does alcohol bring to your life? Does it bring happiness or sadness? Does it bring productivity or does it bring a distraction? Does it bring stress or does it bring relief? What does it bring to your life? It's so important that we question the things that we do in our life so we can really find out if it's serving us or not, you know? But I'm so proud of myself that I completed the challenge that I set for myself. It's actually been over a year now. It's been like a year and seven days or something. And I have absolutely no desire to drink. Like I have no interest in it whatsoever. I'm so proud of my growth in the last year and for sticking with it. I feel like it's helped me gain a new trust within myself. You know, when you set yourself a challenge, like something for a year, you know, and there are days where it's gonna be harder than others you know you do feel a real sense of being able to believe in yourself once you complete you know I feel like it's so important we talk about these things even if you're not coming from an all or nothing perspective you know like I wasn't drinking all that often but I was drinking too much when I was drinking and that is a problem in itself you know even though it has been so normalized from our binge drinking cultures it is an issue in itself. You're able to have an unhealthy relationship with something or someone, even if it's not like destroying your life, you know? If it's having more negative impacts than positive impacts, you know, it's worth taking a step back for a while and, you know, 
reevaluating the situation. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and took something away from it. I'd love to know where you are on your alcohol journey down in the comments below so we can have a chat back and forth about it. Let me know what your pros and cons are. If you've ever given it up, have you gone back to drink? I'd love to hear all about it. Don't forget that there are only two trousers for £24 and up to 80% off absolutely everything on Fabletics. I will have a link down below. But thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye friends.